Greetings everyone. Welcome to Rick's Garage. Um, today I am attempting to change the blades on my lawn tractor. Um, I did my first cut with the old blades figuring there would be a lot of twigs and sticks and things I'd run into so I figured I'd beat up the old blades before I put the new blades on. But I've run into a little trouble trying to get the old blades off. Um, they're just frozen solid on there. This is the first year that I left the tractor out in the shed instead of the garage and uh, I don't know if they rusted or what. But, but you can see the extremes I've gone through to get these blades off. Um, I've actually attached a come along to the side of the uh, lift and to the beam in the house. And uh, I am going to use a breaker bar with a long pipe. Uh, the reason for the uh, come along is to prevent the uh, tractor and its support from sliding. Uh, so whatever you use to lift it, if you have one of these lifts it's great, but if you're using a block or a jack or whatever, attach uh, something uh, to the uh, tractor to prevent it from moving so you can get that, um, that uh, stubborn nut off. Um, if you're outside you can probably attach it to a bumper of a vehicle. Uh, so anyway, here goes. Okay, so as you saw in the last segment, um, I had attached a come along to the front of the lift and that was for the sole purpose of keeping the machine from sliding when I tried to undo the nut. Um, I used an impact wrench um, <coughs> with absolutely to no avail. So I've resorted to using a pipe and a breaker bar. So uh, in this case, it's a 24 millimeter socket I'm using. Um, it's important to know whether you have right-handed threads or left-handed threads. These are just uh, right-handed standard threads, so you would loosen them the way you would normally loosen anything counterclockwise. So uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see how long this breaker bar attachment is. And I've fashioned a uh, block of wood to uh, support the blade. So let's put that in place. It's important also to make sure that you have your uh, your uh, key off and your blade disengaged. You don't want to start the motor here and shut yourself up. So like I said we have the come along just to keep the uh, machine from moving. I'm attaching my socket and I'm going to exert a lot of force. Boy, that's tight. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna have to put a little more force here. So something's gonna give. Either this spindle is gonna break, my tool is gonna break, or the blade's gonna break. Um, like I said, I've got to come along to prevent it from shifting and uh, I'm going counterclockwise so it should loosen <clears throat> hopefully well there it went so we got it done it was just a little bit of uh, <coughs> leverage with a breaker bar and that should come right off now as you can see and uh, so that worked out so like I said, the only purpose the come along was there for was to keep the whole thing from sliding. You saw how much pressure I had to exert to get that off. So if you're ever having trouble with these, uh, you just need a breaker bar, a long pipe, and something to keep the uh, machine from sliding around. Uh, that's all I've got. Good luck.